Hey Leo, hope you guys are doing great. So welcome to your general love reading for the second half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be general, so it means that it's not going to be everybody's situation, and it also means that the roles can be reversed. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Leo, let's see. Ooh, okay, so for the, the the overall energy here, we have the fifth dimension and recognition. Okay, so I feel like, you know, this is a very deep connection with somebody that you are dealing with here. Um, it's like your souls recognize each other. But what's happening here is that somebody whether it's you or them, is recognizing how deep this connection is, recognizing that, you know, it's like you know each other on a soul level rather than just, you know, it being a superficial or just, you know, like any other connection or like any other typical relationship um, in the 3D. All right, so there's this recognition that something is a lot deeper here than it first appeared to be. So let's get into the tarot and see what exactly is going on here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Last couple weeks of October, what is going on? For the situation, we have the Sun. Okay, there's you. <laughs> Uh, crossed by the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you might even be dealing with another Leo. It doesn't have to be. Just saying, um, this could just be you showing up here. So, you want happiness. You want happiness. I feel like, you know, you're wanting to stand in your power. You're wanting to have this fulfillment. I feel like the other person is also wanting happiness and fulfillment as well. But the challenge here is really all about finding some kind of balance in terms of how much energy you or they are putting into this, all right? Um, it could even be a matter of reciprocity, right? Like how much are you giving to this? How much is the other person giving to this? Let's see for the recent past, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so it could be that somebody here either moved away um, from this connection or um, it could even be that there has been a lot of healing that ha that is happening. I, I actually I know this is the recent past, but I'm actually feeling like this is still something that is in progress, okay? But it's also coming in as somebody having moved away from the connection, whether it is you or them. I actually get that it's both of you, um, possibly in different ways, but we'll see more when we clarify. For your energy, we have the King of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Let me just get the rest of them. For them we have, these cards are kind of like sticking together. The Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords coming up for you or even sometimes a message for you is the Five of Pentacles <clears throat> and for them the Ten of Swords. Ooh. All right, Leo, let's see what is happening here. Um, I know that this doesn't look too good here, but we will um, clarify and we will get all the information that we need because sometimes things aren't exactly as they, as they appear. Not to mention sometimes there is a reason for all of this happening because that's what then will ultimately lead us to that happiness and to pursuing that happiness. So basically what I'm seeing here is that you both have a lot of love for each other. There's definitely this deeper love, you know, connection, um, knowing each other at a soul level because, I mean, look at this. We have the King of Cups for you and the Queen of Cups for them in the exact same position, all right? That is, you know, the perfect, kind of like the perfect match here. Um, it doesn't matter who has the, the more masculine role and who has the more feminine role, you know, it doesn't really matter. What I'm seeing here is that you're both feeling these emotions for each other and recognizing them. All right, now for you, whatever it is that is happening here in this connection, it's it's feeling like it's been a very long journey and it feels like you're almost at the end of it. Like you just cannot carry this burden anymore. It just feels like it's just so so heavy for you and i do feel like you know that actually it does lead you to feeling like you know what like 
there's a loss here. Like if I don't have this connection, that there is, there is a loss. Um, for them, you know what? Here's the thing, and I'm gonna pull a final card for you as well. I I think I did for Aries also. Um, I wasn't planning to for this round because I'm getting the um, because I pulled an extra oracle card to start off the reading, but I will for you because what I'm seeing here is that this person that you're dealing with here they're it's like they're deceiving what they're feeling right they're deceiving their intuition but what does that lead them to that leads them to the ten of swords that leads them to feeling very very defeated it, it leads them to feeling like you know this is just so painful like this ending is unbearably painful and so i really don't think that they can stay in this energy for too long because when you have the ten of swords i mean that's like hitting rock bottom so there's no other way to go but up from there, right? Like something needs to shift. This is like an ending and, and an ending always leads to some kind of a new beginning. Okay, so this is why I'm saying, yes, you know, it might look a little bit heavy or it might look a little bit pessimistic. You're left feeling alone or, you know, like you've lost this, but this person, it's, they're not moving on. They're not all happy. No, they have the 10 of swords. It's, feeling painful. Why? Because of them, you know, deceiving their heart, basically. So let's clarify. Let's clarify and see what is happening here. And I actually feel like it's this Ten of Swords that's going to lead them to fully recognize the depths of this connection. So let's see. The Sun crossed by the Six of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups and the Fool. Okay, so this is definitely a connection here where you feel like this is just your, this would be, you know, like the ultimate love connection, basically, that this would be your fulfillment, this would be your wish come true. I do get that the other person is feeling the same way, but it's like somebody is feeling like this would be a risk. A big risk and I feel like for that reason you know somebody is just not giving or trying not to give energy to this trying not to think about it trying not to just give to it so it could be you know that maybe you're giving energy to this in whatever way that is um, but they are not or vice versa but I see it as yeah so just feel free to reverse the rules because I'm seeing it as this being the other person who is not giving to this because they're seeing it as a risk Okay, because they're the ones who have this Five of Swords and Ten of Swords. Let's see the Six of Swords. Six of Swords for the recent past. And we have the Four of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so like I said, this is an ongoing process in terms of the healing, all right? Because this Nine of Swords is showing up here. Um, it feels like, you know, there was a point in time here where the two of you were very, very stable. For some of you, it could have even been a marriage with this Four of Wands. Um, but it definitely feels like if it wasn't a marriage, it felt like it could lead to a marriage or there was, there maybe was like this idea or concept of marriage or at least some kind of a, a commitment here that would be long term and stable. There's movement. There was movement away from that. And I feel like the purpose of this movement away from that was actually so that the both of you could go on your own healing journeys. All right. Um, however, you know, it doesn't mean that that didn't come with a lot of pain and a lot of stress and a lot of, you know, possibly even sleepless nights and restlessness. Okay. Because it did for the both of you. Um, it could even be that somebody just, you know, moved out. You know, if you were living together, somebody moved out, somebody left here. And yeah, that caused, that did cause stress. That did definitely cause stress. Let's see for your energy. Let's see that King of Cups. The King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Yeah, so I mean, this is, you're definitely feeling like, you know, you still have love for this person and you would still want commitment with this person. Um, I'm not sure though, like, 
I feel like there's a little bit of back and forth here though in your energy like um, maybe either trying to move on or you know trying to take some distance trying to do other things but it, it feels like when you do that it, it like maybe you can't stick to it let's see the ten of wands the eight of wands and the page of wands So, okay, so this is feeling very, very burdensome on you, right? Because I feel like, you know, you're trying to cope with, you know, the movement away from each other. And that is proving to be difficult. That is proving to be heavy. And I do see you putting in that effort, though. I'm getting that um, the more that you hold on to this burden or, you know, like... And I don't know how it is that you're holding on to this, actually. But it does feel like you're holding on to it. Like you're almost like you're not allowing it to just be what it is. Like there's just still a lot of energy being put into this. That's actually what leads you to feeling more abandoned. Because it's like the more that... Or to feel like this is, you know, such a loss because it's like the more energy that you are putting into this <clears throat> and the less energy that the other person is putting into this the more difficult it becomes for you to manage that because there's like this lack of balance for what each of you is putting in here and it's almost like it works like this you know like magnet type of a situation where you know the more energy that you're putting into this the more the other person is inclined to not put energy but if you stop putting energy into this then that's going to stop pushing their energy away which is just classic you know law of attraction type of stuff here but I feel like that's actually what is what is happening here um, for you so it, and it's not just that it's not a matter of attracting this person or pulling them in it's a matter of you putting in energy into this how is that making you feel regardless of what the other person is going to do so the whole purpose of pulling back your energy is not to attract them it's to help you in how you feel to help make the load lighter the more energy you put into this, the more invested you are, you know, the more you have invested. And so, you know, your your feelings, your emotions after that are going to be a reaction to you having put in energy to this. And I know it's it's easier said than done. Oh, just pull away your energy. <laughs> um, so I know, it, it, and this could be even something you, you already know and that you've already been thinking, but sometimes just keeping it at the forefront of your mind, but not trying too hard to pull away your energy that can be helpful. Don't put too much effort into trying to pull away your energy because then putting in that effort to pull away your energy is actually giving energy to it. Do you see what I'm saying? So just kind of have it in the back of your mind and just leave it there. Leave this thought in the back of your mind to try to help you to, you know, not put too much energy into it. So... Okay, Leo, let's move on. Let's see the Queen of Cups for them. Huh. They have the Ten of Wands as well. And the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, okay, see? This is exactly what I'm saying. Um, the more that you release your own burden of this, the more that they are going to focus on you, the more energy that they are going to put into this. It, exactly what I just said. Like, I love this confirmation. Like that Ten of Wands. Like, you're, if, you, if you release those wands, that energy that you're putting into it, right, that's when they're going to start carrying them and focusing on you. Really interesting. All right, let's see the Five of Swords. And again, you're not doing it for this purpose. This is that shouldn't be your intention because then it won't. It, it's like it'll, it'll be like <laughs> canceling it out almost. Um, but that's just 
how it works, okay? But that shouldn't be your intention. So try to release that as an intention if you do have that as an intention because I'm not trying to assume anything. All right, Five of Swords. The Empress and the Hierophant. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Taurus. Oh, yeah, okay, so this person... It feels like, you know, they're deceiving, you know, like I said, their own intuition, what it is that they would want, what it is that would actually fulfill them. It's almost like they are, for some of them, there could be like another commitment involved here, okay, with the, with the higher friend, or it could be, you know, anything in terms of um, social conditioning for some of them, or just feeling like they need to stick to some rules, but by doing so, it's like they're deceiving, going against their own self, like hurting their own self in the process by trying to be victorious in some other type of a way. But that only leads to pain. And I feel like that is something that they are recognizing because they are recognizing the depths of this connection. And if that behavior is keeping them away from having what it is that they truly, truly desire, right, what it is that they're recognizing, that's going to lead to pain. So they're recognizing this connection for what it is and through that pain, through this deception, because it's only when they deceive their own self that they feel that pain, thereby being able to recognize what it is that they truly want. Being like, okay, you know, this is causing me pain. I didn't expect that. So yeah, what does that mean? So that's how that recognition of this connection comes into play. All right, so let's see that five of pentacles for your energy <laughs> coming up here or the message for you. And we have the five of pentacles again and the eight of swords. All right, this is a very strong message here from spirit. Leo, get out of your head. <laughs> Don't focus on the loss. Don't focus on the loss. And again, you know, just not, it's just, it's just a matter of not putting energy into this in whatever way, just let it be, you know, again, don't put effort into trying to pull away your energy, but just let it be for what it is, because it feels like there's a lot of overthinking about it, overanalyzing and that those thoughts, whatever they are, which I feel like are not even accurate here with the eight of swords those thoughts are making you feel abandoned. Those thoughts are making you feel like, you know, this is such a huge loss. You're being asked to not focus on the loss here. Which, again, I know, easier said than done, but that's the message. Don't focus on the loss. There are other things, you know. Um, there's always something else in our lives that we can focus on other than a loss. I'm not saying to ignore it completely. Yeah, if there's a loss, there's a loss, you know, and if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But don't dwell on that. That's not the only thing is what I'm trying to say. Let's see the Ten of Swords for the other person here. The Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups again. See, this is what they are learning. They're actually learning from this pain from this ending like they need to hit that rock bottom and what does that lead them to the freaking queen queen of cups their intuition what it is that they truly feel about you that love the emotions that they have it's that recognition um <laughs> it can't be any more clear than that okay so i did promise i would get a final message here for you so let's see a final message here for leo and this was a lot longer than i expected all right and we have the high priestess there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that you might not be aware of. Um, I, I do feel like there's a distance between the two of you where there's not much communication, but, but intuition is going to be a major factor here. Intuition is like coming into this connection big time. I feel like for the both of you. So yeah, and as, especially for this person, right? Because they got the Queen of Cups twice, which is also about intuition. So 
yes, there's definitely a recognition here and then, you know, who knows what's going to happen after that. So that is it, Leo. I thank you so much for watching and much love.